Aquarius hey Aquarius welcome back to my channel and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Aquarius if you're new to my channel I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected your energy is protected as well if you're returning thank you so much for returning I appreciate it and you trust me with your energy okay so the first message we have here is there's so much to discuss okay divine feminine I'm picking up on your energy here specifically a lot of energy going on within your emotional body, okay? Lately, you may have been having this gut feeling that this masculine in your energy field is carrying a lot of secrets. And you don't know whether this is something that is directly connected to you and your connection with them, or if this is something that's tied to their personal journey in some way. But based upon the way that your person responds to you, you can't help but feel like this definitely has something to do with you, whether it be directly or indirectly. You also may feel like this is the reason that you're currently not speaking to them. So at this time, you may be seeking some type of confirmation to figure out what's really going on in your connection. I'm also getting that there's a very specific interaction that you had with them where you notice the shift in their demeanor. And you can't help but feel like there's a lot that they wanna tell you, okay? I'm also getting that there were very key things that stuck out to you before this connection kind of phased out. You may notice that your person kind of backs off of certain topics or their energy would change when you would bring certain things up. There may also have been plenty of times where the conversation will get more serious and it will feel like it's something on the tip of your person's tongue, but they would hold back from you, okay? And you wonder why. I'm also getting clearly that when it comes to this separation, this is something that may have gradually phased out over time. So although you may have picked up on this energy and you may have been the one to actually stop contacting them, you honestly feel like this was indirectly initiated by this person, okay? Meaning that there were moments that led up to this. And now that you're at a distance, you're able to see things clearly or maybe even pinpoint the very moment that things changed. But there's definitely still this underlying energy here about the way that this was left. It feels open, okay? Or just raw, almost. And even though you're at a distance, this energy is still playing out. It's almost as if this set the tone for how your person views you. And it's directly affecting their ability to communicate with you at this time. I'm also getting the word understanding very clearly. You have a deep understanding of the phases that this type of connection goes through. And you also know that separation always happens for a very specific reason. And this is what's making you very curious. So you're definitely wondering if the current status of your connection has something to do with you personally, or if it's tied to your person and where they are on their own journey. But on some level, you definitely can feel that there's a lot of things that your person is not telling you. And to you, it may feel like there's this very isolated aspect of their lives that they're trying to keep separate from you. And the way your energy is coming through, it's almost as if you're very understanding of this in some way, okay? So maybe you're at a stage in your life where you're open to talking about this um, versus where you were in the past. But due to the underlying energy of your connection at this time, you definitely feel like it's out of your hands in some way. So you may have been very, very close to this masculine at one time because there's such an openness in your aura or just this energy of receptivity. You may also feel the need to wanna to reach out to them or you may just really be sitting back and waiting for them to reach out to you, but there definitely needs to be a discussion, okay? Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have here is, you have me exactly where you want me. Yeah, I just got confirmation, okay? So this is a huge confirmation from the universe for you, Divine Feminine. 
I'm getting clearly that this was not a mutual agreement between the two of you. This is something that your person definitely initiated, okay? And while you may not be sure exactly why they did this, they know exactly why. But they may have a hard time explaining this to you because not only were they aware of what they were doing, they also felt led to do this as well. But this card here indicates that there's a higher order of things happening in the background of your connection, okay? I'm getting delays very, very clearly. So in case you're wondering, this person is actively seeking you out, okay? This could be physically or energetically. But every single time that they lean into your energy, it's almost as if the universe sends them a direct message and it comes in the form of some type of delay. And this masculine is getting extremely frustrated with this, okay? Because this is someone who for some reason is very, very eager to be in your energy, but they're being met with a lot of restraint, a lot of resistance, okay? So clearly there's something that they're overlooking because anytime you experience delays, Specifically when the universe is delaying something, it's definitely for a reason. So it kind of feels like your person could be being pulled in two directions at this time, where something internally is constantly seeking your energy or your aura, but externally they're experiencing a block. You may be picking up on this as well, Divine Feminine. So you may notice that when it comes to this particular person, there's this very cyclical energy or very on and off energy with them. Like it's something interrupting the flow or there's always some kind of physical delay when it comes to connecting with them. And this may have you currently questioning the validity of your connection or if it's something that you're not aware of that may be causing this continuous delay. I'm also getting that what's adding to their frustration is that this is not happening with anyone else. Okay, and honestly, this is what has them frustrated, but also a little worried about what's to come in the future. So with this card here, you have me exactly where you want me. This is your person acknowledging that even though they were the ones to initiate this, they're experiencing heavy regret around the decision because now they see that they definitely set something in motion on a much higher level. And they're kind of being guided to surrender in ways that they don't really understand. So whatever it is they're going through, this is like a process that they wish that they can control, but they can't. This is something that they have to see all the way through. And the thought of that has them feeling very, very uneasy at this time. But what's coming through very clearly is that the universe has them where they are, not only for a specific reason, but also for a specific time frame as well, okay? So there may be a certain block of time that you have not spoken to this masculine. And it really feels like you both are kind of on the same wavelength, okay? You both are wondering when is the right time to reach out to one another, okay? So you may be feeling their energy very, very strongly at this time because they're seeking you out but something in their life is happening beyond their control, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have here is, I know I'm in the wrong place. Yeah. If you're resonating with this message so far, your connection is about to go through a lot of unexpected events, okay? Honestly, the energy in this reading is kind of all over the place. I feel like that's reflecting where your masculine could be right now at this moment. But a lot of things are happening because your connection is being directly affected by what your masculine is choosing to do in the physical realm. Yeah, I'm getting external energy very clearly. So Divine Feminine, if you were getting a feeling that there was external energy affecting your connection, then you're right, okay? For some of you, this is not news to you at all, okay? But for others of you, this is definitely confirmation. And 
this is a very tricky kind of energy I'm picking up on because although it's normal for you to assume that this is a bad thing, maybe under different circumstances, this would be a bad thing, okay? But I'm not getting that energy, to be completely honest. While I am picking up on something that is kind of chaotic, okay, kind of all over the place, there's not really a, a, a real heaviness with this or like a malicious type of energy with this. So although there is external energy that I'm picking up on, this is actually having an adverse effect on your person, okay? I just got options very clearly. So you may not be aware of this, but your masculine is being presented with a lot of options, okay? There's a lot of energy coming through with this card here. Um, but what's funny is that they don't want them. They're actually very, very suspicious of the energies around them at this time. And oddly enough, they're suspicious because of the level of accessibility. What's catching their eye in the midst of all of this is that you are still being singled out in a way, Divine Feminine, even though you're at a distance. So while everything and everyone else in their lives may be highly available to them, you're not. And this has them very, very curious, but also very, very suspicious. So you would think that this would make them lean more towards what's more accessible, but it's actually having the opposite effect on them. It's making them want you more. It's making them think of you more. It's making them seek out your energy more, okay? This is a masculine energy who feels like they're in the wrong place and that they definitely made the wrong choice. And the universe has them on a specific timeline where they're facing themselves through their connection with other people. So the only reason you haven't heard from them is because they don't know how to tell you that they're actively playing out other soul contracts at this time. And the crazy part is that they may have been totally oblivious to this at one point. But this is becoming very, very clear to them, okay? And this is why their higher self is coming to deliver this message to you, Divine Feminine. Because you may really be worried or you may really be wondering why there's always this resistance to you and your energy. It's because this connection is very, very powerful and it's being highly affected by the energy of the universe at this time. And because you're masculine, represents the physical aspect of this connection. The universe is only presenting them with who they are, but this is happening in a very physical way. It's happening on a physical plane. So if your person is operating at a lower vibration or at a lower level, the type of souls that will be drawn to them or available to them will be the ones that match their energy. But something is shifting because they're unimpressed, okay? That's coming through very, very clearly. Whatever options they're being presented with, they are highly unimpressed. It's almost like they're undergoing this huge wake-up call and they know that this has to mean something because maybe in the past they would have entertained this type of energy, okay? But more importantly, they know that it means something about you, Divine Feminine because all of this happened after they chose to initiate this separation period with you. So in a way, they may be using your connection as some type of guidance system, okay? I'm getting that this is something that they may do unconsciously as well, where it's like every single person that they come in contact with, whether they know it or not, they're comparing them to you, okay? And this is in every way possible. And they're not comparing them to you physically, okay? They're comparing your energy, your vibe, okay? Or the way that they feel in your presence. I'm getting there's something very, very safe about it. And the energy that they're currently surrounded by may definitely feel opposite to this. So just very chaotic or unsettling in some way. That's probably the, the energy that I was picking up on earlier as well, okay? But regardless of what they're experiencing in their everyday life, they're still seeking you out in many ways. So this is much deeper than them realizing they chose the wrong person. 
This is about them being afraid of being stuck in a certain timeline and therefore only being able to access certain aspects of themselves in others or circumstances in their environment. This is very, very interesting because from a higher perspective, there are certain things in this life that you only have access to when you're connected with your twin flame. Even if you're separated, that energetic bond is so important. So the difference with this energy they're currently under is that while they are in close proximity to it, this is definitely creating a physical block for your person, not only for them to get to you, but also to their destiny, okay? You also may be experiencing a lot of spiritual upgrades because I'm clearly getting something here about the difference in timelines, but also the difference in your realities and what's accessible to you at this time. That's coming through very, very clearly, okay? Let's get the next message here. Yeah. A lot of mirroring going on here. The next message we have is, I'm a reflection of you. Wow. If you're resonating with this, you are an extremely powerful feminine energy. Because I'm getting that there could definitely be like this block of time where you have not spoken to this masculine, but your energy is literally like spilling over into their lives in some way. So this is directly connected to you, but also indirectly in ways as well, okay? I'm getting confession with this card very, very clearly. If your masculine were to be 100% honest with you, they would tell you, that they didn't always see themselves in you, okay? So when they look at you or when they're in your presence, you actually represent everything that they've been taught to repress about themselves, okay? And this makes you and this connection very triggering for them at times. But what's happening now is that the universe is literally holding up a mirror to your masculine. And this is happening in a way where they're being asked to take a closer look at what they've been directing their energy towards. And honestly, they do not like what they see, okay? I'm also getting something here about law of attraction very clearly. So it's almost like that one decision that they made set off a series of events that may change the way that you actually view them, okay? And this is why they've been trying to get in contact with you. It's because of the way that it looks. They really don't like what they're being shown about themselves or what's being reflected back to them in their world. And this is what's making them feel impulsive. This is also the motivation for them to get closer to you at this time. So whether this masculine has expressed this to you or not, they see God in you, okay? And that's a very powerful statement. But they probably can't even describe what it feels like to be in your presence, Divine Feminine. This is someone who thinks very, very highly of you. I'm also getting something about transparency as well. So it's very easy for them to tell how you're feeling by the way that you treat them or by the way that you speak to them, you were very, very open with this masculine energy, even in moments where they weren't ready to reciprocate your energy, okay? And you may not have even disclosed a lot about yourself or about your past, but there's something very pure about your energy that they connected with, whether this be by way of your communication or your actions. This is someone who knows that you are different from what they're used to, okay? Because they can feel your energy. And energy doesn't lie. So for a long time, they didn't see themselves in you. They didn't identify with this light that you have. And this caused a lot of internal conflict that then began to spill over into your connection in real time. But what's interesting is that now that they're at a distance from you, they are extremely focused on you, okay? Because they're realizing that aligning with you was an indication of their divinity as well. 
So with this card here, I'm a reflection of you. There's this underlying energy of them trying to convince themselves of this again, okay? There's something happening in their lives right now that's not a reflection of their higher self. That's why there may be so much openness in your aura right now because you can feel that your person is trying to hide something from you, okay? And you're right about that. And the fact that you're in this separation is actually heightening these emotions. This is a masculine energy who's playing a huge role, whose actions is playing a huge role in why your connection is unfolding the way that it is. And in them initiating this separation with you, it's almost like they sent a clear message to God, okay? There's a lot of spiritual undertone with this message here. Um, but yeah, it's like they sent a clear message to God about you and about this connection, but more importantly about themselves. You have to remember that this journey is just one big mirror and it will always show you the things that you need to see whether you're ready or not. And so at this time, they are going through things or being shown things that they don't necessarily like or agree with. But this is literally a direct message from their higher self trying to hold up a mirror to them in some way. And this is why they're constantly trying to convince themselves that they are a reflection of you, Divine Feminine. Almost like they're rejecting these people, these places, these things that is being presented to them on their path at this time, okay? Yeah, whatever they're being shown right now is a result of their actions. And it's not what they deem to be a match for what they felt in your presence or what they felt in your energy or within this connection. And this is something that they really want the opportunity to tell you, okay? Let's get the next message here. Yeah. The next message we have is, you were sent to me. Yeah, this is definitely highlighting the selection process when it comes to these types of high-level connections. This masculine is realizing that they didn't choose you, okay? They didn't select this connection. And in many ways, they feel like they're drawn to you in ways that they're not drawn to anyone else. Yeah, I feel like this is what they're currently coming to the realization of. And at this time, the main thing that's sticking out to them is the way that you came into their lives. Because up until they met you, they were solely responsible for picking their mates or their partners that they were with. And maybe this is based on physical attributes or other type of similarities. But with you, the alignment is almost always out of their control, okay? And they may still be trying to figure out why God sent you to them because there's still parts of you that they don't have full access to at this time. And it's because of this external energy here. All of this is beginning to make sense to them. It's like everything is coming full circle. And that's the biggest difference between you and other feminine energies that this masculine has been in contact with. The selection process is the difference. This is a masculine energy who's noticing a pattern in their choices especially in the areas of love, okay? They realize that there are some things that they couldn't see clearly. So in this moment, it's like a light bulb going off in their heads where they understand that the real reason they're suffering inside is because they've been looking for things outside of themselves, okay? Whether this be directly or indirectly. But it's becoming clear that the person who's actually for them was sent directly to them. I'm getting clearly they didn't have to search for you. You literally appeared on their path and the chemistry was undeniable. But they questioned this because of something that they were dealing with internally, which was a reflection of the previous timeline that they were still enmeshed with in some kind of way. And they're now realizing that God actually sent you to completely shatter this timeline, okay? So you were sent to them as a direct sign that they were in the wrong place. 
And because they question it, this definitely delayed the progression of your connection or your journey or the mission that has been assigned to your connection. And this is why they feel extremely uncomfortable. Because once you get a taste of divine love, nothing else compares, okay? But more importantly, it becomes very, very uncomfortable to go backwards to a previous timeline. This is also highlighting the fact that it's nearly impossible to outrun yourself. So your person is running, literally running into different versions of themselves and it's kind of pissing them off, okay? I, I gotta be honest because it's indicative of what they're avoiding on their own personal journey. But this is all happening to help them awaken and to realign with their true self so that they can realign with you vibrationally, not just physically. Okay, let's get the last message here. The last message we have here is, I've made so many mistakes. Yeah, this, this is definitely um, that energy of confession. And the motivation behind this is that they honestly feel like they're being restricted from your energy until this is addressed. And the only thing that's stopping them is that they're trying to figure out what to say to you and how to go about expressing this to you, okay? This is definitely a, a bittersweet moment for this masculine because it's almost like they're happy that they've come into this information, that they are awakening to certain things, being able to pinpoint the way that energy manifests outwardly from what it is that they're feeling inside. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of painful for them because for your masculine to know that they have a divine counterpart out in the world and not really knowing what's next and not having access to you in the way that they want, it's really bothering them, okay? This is the type of masculine energy that definitely views you as their equal. Even if they've never said this to you, they definitely respect you, divine feminine. And this is not easy for a lot of masculine energies to do. It takes a very special feminine energy to garner the respect of a masculine, okay? And it honestly feels like they want to act, but they don't know how to come towards you at this time. I'm also getting that at one point in your connection, things definitely just used to flow. Maybe you could pick up where you left off easily, okay? But this time feels different. And I'm getting that it feels different for you too, Divine Feminine. But there's so much emotion coming through with this card here. So maybe they're trying to read you and understand what it is that you want from them at this stage of your connection. Honestly, this is someone who really felt like they would always have access to you. But lately, they're going through a major wake-up call around this energy because of how they handled this connection when they did have all the access in the world to you. I'm also getting that they could be picking up on something very restrictive in your aura as well, Divine Feminine. So something about the way that you're presenting externally is saying no, okay? But this masculine may be wondering if this is a permanent stance for you or if they still have the ability to access your heart space in some way. From a higher perspective, this does feel like protection of some sort when it comes to you, Divine Feminine. And this is something that you're very intentional about. So on some level, you may understand that your person is definitely going through some type of spiritual lesson and while they're learning whatever it is that their soul needs to learn, it's very, very clear that there's some things that they must do in their own company, okay? Especially when new energy is being activated or integrated for their higher good. But there's also still something very open about your aura. So you could definitely be practicing patience at this time when it comes to your person, but you're allocating your time by pouring into yourself and allowing this energy to balance naturally on its own, okay? I'm also getting something here about the universal energy as well. So your connection may be affected by this in a major way. Just overall for the year 2024, 
The Masculine Collective will be going through a series of spontaneous awakenings, okay? And while this is a very, very good thing, this is also a very, very scary process for a lot of them, okay? Because it's almost like they're coming into the realization that the life that they were living was very inauthentic. So in this way, a lot of contracts will be ending this year. And if you've been paying attention to the energy over the past couple of years, there have been a lot of separations taking place when it comes to relationships specifically. And as the earth continues to shift to a higher vibration, this energy will just get more and more intense. So if you are chosen or are here on a specific journey or path, this energy is unavoidable. And at this time, your person is definitely being affected by this energy. So 2024, very, very powerful, very fast moving energy. So things will be happening on a larger scale because this is the end of a cycle. And under the energy of Pluto and Aquarius, anything that's inauthentic and not in alignment with the higher aspects of the soul will be falling away and it will be falling away fast, okay? And this energy will differ depending on where you are on your personal journeys. But what's clear is that your masculine and the masculine collective is being called to listen to their heart. Some of them will be receptive, but some of them will definitely need further assistance or more lessons to come to their ultimate truth. So this message is definitely giving you a closer look at your person's internal process and how this universal energy is affecting them wherever they are in the world. It's almost as if this is a direct message to them that you can only pretend for so long, okay? When something is not for you, you can feel it. And you can choose to acknowledge what's happening inside of you or you can ignore what you feel. And this masculine is definitely picking up on this energy and being triggered by it so much that they know they have to make a move. So there will be a lot of unexpected things coming, okay? But I'm getting confession very, very clearly. For some of you, this confession will come directly from your person. For others of you, it will come from the divine, okay? But there will be no more secrets in your connection because it's causing major delays in destiny. And clearly, this year is a very, very important year for the both of you, okay? Okay, loves, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.